In this video, I'm gonna make this podium that is great to use for sports competitions, awards ceremonies, and things like that. So let's get started. I began by laying out the cuts according to the drawing you see here on the screen. Uh, I, if you notice, the center section is a little narrower than the other two. It will have an overhang on both ends, so the top will actually be 24 long, so will the two sides. So this made all the tops the equal size. I had to adjust that middle to account for two overhangs instead of just one. So once I laid this out, then I was ready to start cutting. After drawing all of the lines that I needed to cut, I proceeded to use the DeWalt battery powered four and a half inch circular saw to make all the cuts. Uh, this saw is amazing for things like this. It's pretty easy to cut a nice straight line. It's a one handed saw, so you're able to hold the workpiece in place. If you, as you cut, you may have parts that or work pieces that are going to fall off, the scrap parts that are getting cut away. So this saw makes it easy to handle those because you can hold on to that piece and hold on to the saw at the same time. So there will be a link in the description down below as uh, so you can find out where to get that. Um, I use it all the time. It's really good for cutting plywood. Now because the saw blade is round, when you get to the corners, you can it tends to leave a little chunk. So what I do then is I just get a handheld uh, battery powered jigsaw and I just clean up those corners so that when I'm ready to set the top on there that it sits in there nice and there's not a weird notch of wood that, that makes a gap. After making all the cuts, I just took the side I tr had and I traced it onto another piece of plywood and then I proceeded to make all the cuts for that piece. Now this is done the exact same way as the other side, so I'm just going to save you the boredom of having to watch the same thing twice, and we'll just move on to the rest of the build. Once I finished cutting that side out, I got my portable pocket hole jig out, and I drilled three holes to hold on the top of each section of this platform so that it would be nice and secure. I also cut all the pieces that would run from one side to another, all the support pieces that are going to be underneath it. I cut all those, I pocket hold those as well so that I was ready for assembly. I then just clamped the pieces together where they needed to be. I allowed for an overhang on the front edge and on the side edges and I screwed the entire thing together. Now these clamps I'm using are special ones made for pocket holes. They have like a pin end on the one end that fits down into the hole and then the other end is more of like it's just a flat clamping pad and it does a really good job of holding everything in place so that you can attach it with the pocket screws i usually put those clamps on the ends put a screw in the middle take one end off put a screw in that end and then take the other clamp off and you can screw it and it shouldn't move at that point so it works very well as you can see and we just kind of went around i did all the top one first then i proceeded to do the other steps and also did the interior supports as well now the overall depth of these is 18 inches uh, I, that's what the top is so because of the overhang the, the pieces are actually a little bit um, narrower than that but the overall depth of the platform will be 18 inches. I took some of the cut off pieces that I had and I made uh, just a little support cleat on the inside of the two outer platforms. I, I kind of realized that there was nothing really supporting that platform in the middle. It was just supporting it on the ends and so where it met the highest platform there was no support there and it, with wrestling, the, the biggest guys can be 285 pounds each. And so I thought, I need to beef this up a little bit just to be safe. I didn't want anything to happen where it would, it would break or anything like that. So this may be 
over-engineering, but I thought better safe than sorry. I was going to probably throw the pieces away anyways because they're almost too small to use for anything else. So that's what I did. After that, I just finished assembly. And I attached the two end pieces. So now each area was enclosed and supported fully. And I finished that up and got ready to test it out. I finished it up by cutting some numbers out on my CNC. And then we just painted it and it was ready to go. So we got the podium done. We have a wrestling tournament this weekend, so I am sure it's going to get used. Once I figured out the sizes, it was fairly easy to make. I did have a few issues on, I didn't think the heights were quite right, so I adjusted them on the first side that I made. Everything else was pocket hole screws. I can put the plans in the description below, so you can at least have something to base them off of if you ever want to make one of these. The tops are about 18 by 24. Uh, I did make a little bit of an overhang, did a round over on the top edge. And um, the actual, what they're setting on then is a little bit smaller than that. I stood on it, it's sturdy. It doesn't seem to rock back and forth and I'm a pretty big guy. So I think it should be good for any of the high school kids that are gonna use it. Uh, I used pocket holes for all assembly. And then I put a support piece in underneath towards the middle. I made a full vertical support on each side um, of the top highest one. I just thought it would build more stability in the whole thing. And I think if I wouldn't have done that, it would have been really rickety. So I think it's really important to add that in. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, learned something. Maybe we're entertained a little bit. Uh, and please check out our next videos. Hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.